like or dislike some of the things President Trump says in his tweets. But what Roseanne Barr did today is Roseanne Barr's alone to take responsibility for and nobody else's. Um, I actually now just got the original Roseanne tweet from this morning. She has since deleted it, but here it is. It says, um, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby, and it equals VJ. She was referring to Valerie Jarrett. That was the original tweet, Kevin, that started the ball rolling that ABC... Here it is. It said... I guess, um, hello and welcome to subscribe to the channel. Try to start off my videos now by saying thank you for subscribing to the channel and viewing the videos. And by chance, could you share if you want? If you like to, could you do a thumbs up? If you want to, could you conversate in the comment box? Because guess what? They haven't deleted my channel yet. And I am small brains. I am a colored man. I don't like to say black. Or white, I like to say Caucasian or ebony because black is negative. So, um, every time you call a colored man that, you call him negative man, which is black man. Uh, thank you. I've been trying to do this just to express myself because I don't have any kids or children. And, uh, yeah, my girlfriend is not uh, here. During this time, she's at work, so uh, I try to put out videos for other people that's not able to catch the news, or if you don't have television to see what the up and current uh, trending events are, like noun. So I have this paused on here to preserve history because she deleted this, and it should not be deleted. Delete it because it's part of history, and they probably not gonna see it anymore after this today you might hear about it so uh with that i am trying to bring back my channel i'm gonna try to drop a video every day and i have been trying to drop small documentaries or little movies uh i'm probably the only colored male that does reptilian movies our videos talk about reptilians uh ufos and politics and hip-hop it's just not a this is to YouTube. This is not to the subscribers. And to the, the newbies. This is not a conspiracy channel. I don't dabble in conspiracy. If I see someone on TV and I wake up at 6 o'clock, I brush my teeth, wash my face, put in my contact lens, clean them first, and then put in my contact lens. And I turn on the news and somebody has cat eyes. And I can record it with my phone and they still have cat eyes. It's either they have the retina or pupil disease, which is real. People have a natural cat eye because I have a natural cat eye. It's slimmer than the football because the pupil slims down like this. And then when you have a cat eye, it's like this, but it's straight up and down. It's not like this cat eye. You know, it's not a cat eye like this. It's a cat eye like this. So, when you see something like that on TV, and you can stop the video and rewind the television and record it again, and you're with your phone and you record it, well, guess what? Those people have reptilian genes. I'm sorry. You know, it's it's part of the show, too. You know, you, you don't have to believe everything I say because I am not a scientist. But if I could record it three or four times, Two or three different times occasion 15 different occasions it must be real so with that check out the reptilians and the sleepwalkers you will love that little mini film that i made on my own it took me two weeks because the they would not let me upload it to the tube so Look at this fucking thing. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck is this? This is what people are smoking out of in New York. 
Wow. <laughs> it's bigger than fucking TV. What is that? Wow. Not for sale for minors. Sheesh. All right, guys. I'm hitting play. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Did the sisterhood come out to Hillary Clinton? She did say some crazy... Not Hillary Clinton, but Rosette Barr. She did say some crazy shit. So, uh... But let's see what the Fox News has to say. It says, um, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby, and it equals DJ. She was referring to Valerie Jarrett. That was the original tweet, Kevin, that started the ball rolling that ABC quickly acted on. Your thoughts on that particular tweet? Um, I hope it's the last time we see it on TV. I mean, it's that bad. I, I just... You know, it's hard to explain some of these people's, you know, they're dedicated public servants. And uh, like David and you have said, you know, sometimes people just need to put the phone down uh, and take a second and think about their own prejudice. Also, let's talk for a moment, David, about those decisions that um, people in, in power or leadership or in management sometimes make and it affects a lot of other people. You worked on Capitol Hill for a long time and ran that uh, as a chief of staff on the House side for the Republicans. I mean, you've seen it before where a, a lapse in judgment uh, by one person might mean that that congressman or congresswoman has to resign, but you do have a lot of people underneath you as a leader that are supporting you, working their butts off for you, and then all of a sudden they find out they don't have a job. Every, from time to time, everybody moves a little too quickly, and my advice oftentimes was just slow down, take a deep breath, and think about what you're doing. Think through it out loud, think through it in your mind, think through it, as you said, as if you're talking to a friend, and stop for just a moment. The world's not going to change in the 10 or 12 or 15 seconds or 30 seconds it takes for you to think about what you're doing. And uh, it, none of us are safe from it, which is why we all ought to remember, just take a little time, breathe out, and think through what you're putting down on paper, what you're putting down on Twitter, into the Twitter universe, those are things that you can't get back, and they do express something. If you don't want to express it, then don't. Stop yourself. Yeah, that's great. Great advice. I do have the apology that Roseanne tweeted as well. She said, Kevin, she said, I apologize to Valerie Jarrett and to all Americans. I am truly sorry for making a bad joke about her politics and her looks. I should have known better. Forgive me. My joke was in bad taste. The problem I have with that is that... If it was a joke initially, you know, there's a, well, first of all, that's not even a joke. But if you are trying to use the excuse that something is a joke because you're a comedian, um, do you think that that will actually pass muster with the people she's apologizing to? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say, uh, given our uh, kind of divisive nature of politics right now. I'm sure people will, are out there already defending her, um, and I think it's it's tough to say right now. But I do think it's important that the uh, society as a whole, everybody here on, on your show today, uh, you've been in a press office, you know, you know what it's like uh, to, when somebody says something they shouldn't, um, nothing even close to something like this, but. Um, you know, she shouldn't have said it. She knows she shouldn't have said it. Mm -hmm. We've seen comedians uh, held accountable in the past. I mean, uh, Kramer, I believe, uh, from Seinfeld, uh, obviously was kind of blackballed uh, for some comments he made as well. So um, something can be funny without being racist, and nothing racist is funny. I think that's a good place to end it. All right, David and Kevin, thank you for being with me today. Happy to be here. Thank you. This tweet about former Obama advisor Valerie Jarrett. Julie Banderas with a live update here in New York. Julie, what do you know? All right. Well, you know, after a series of the racist rants posted by Roseanne on Twitter, ABC has canceled, as you mentioned, the successful 90s sitcom comedy uh, comeback. Roseanne's most recently tweet uh, you know, that was de actually deleted this morning uh, when she posted an Islamophobic tweet referring to former Obama aide Valerie Jarrett, who is black but not Muslim, I should add. Uh, she tweeted this, and you just found the tweet. We'll put it up again as Muslim. Brotherhood and Planet of Apes who had a baby. Uh, that tweet was, of course, deleted. It was in response, though, to another user tweeting an article from a conspiratorial right-wing outlet claiming Obama's CIA spied on French presidential candidates. Needless to say, shortly after that, uh, stand-up comedian Wanda Sykes, who was also a consulting producer on Roseanne's show, tweeted, I will not be returning to Roseanne on ABC. Then ABC Entertainment President Channing Dungey uh, said in a statement, Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we have decided to cancel so, Roseanne, if we listen to right, you could say Wanda Sykes 
I mean, uh, yes, did I say that right? Sykes? Wanda Sykes, thank you for getting us canceled. Because everyone knows that Wanda Sykes does not like Donald Trump. And you gotta remember from the redhead chick that had the little uh, cut off head thing, uh, dummy. Wanda Sykes come up after her and try to do the same shit and they hit her just as they hit the lady with the red head, uh, red hair. So, yeah, I guess Wanda Sykes wins in the end because she gets Roseanne canceled, which is a Trump fan base TV type show. So, uh, yeah, Roseanne, you should say thank you, Wanda. I try to help give your broke ass a job and uh, this is what I get. Thank you. her show. And that was that. This isn't the first time that Roseanne Barr has compared uh, a black Democratic official to an ape. It sounds weird to even say that out loud. But back in 2013, she actually called Obama National Security Advisor Susan Rice, a man with big swinging ape balls. Uh, amid the ensuing outrage, uh, Barr, whose series <laughs> was renewed for a second season after just one episode. Hold on, what'd she say? Uh, she defended her I didn't catch that one. That was fucking hilarious. That Roseanne Barr has compared uh, a black Democratic official to an ape. It sounds weird to even say that out loud. But back in 2013, she actually called Obama National Security Advisor Susan Rice a man with big swinging ape balls. Uh, amid the ensuing outrage, <laughs> his series reboot was renewed for a second season after just one episode. Uh, she defended herself against the charges of Islamophobia, writing, Islam is not a race, lefties. Islam includes every race of people. Uh, this ordeal actually began Tuesday morning when Barr first took aim at George Soros and the Clinton family. Oddly enough, Barr falsely claimed Chelsea Clinton, who's married to Soros's nephew, and then called her Chelsea Soros Clinton, to which Chelsea replied, Good morning, Roseanne. My given middle name is Victoria. I imagine George Soros's nephews are lovely people. I'm just not married to one. Um, but Roseanne Barr, nonetheless, that is what they signed up for. ABC knows that she's a controversial figure uh, and one that does not like to, um, let's say, censor herself. And I think that's why she rated so well. And it was a successful program until today. You're right. It, like, li listening to some of those tweets, it does feel like a, a, you know, a gut punch right there. So Julie Bender, yeah. thanks for bringing us the story and giving us the whole context. But now let's bring in Howie Kurtz. He's Fox News media analyst and host of Media Buzz. Wanted to take, get your take on ABC, who must have done a very quick... Well, Roseanne, you do have a black fan in me. You got a, a black friend in me, Roseanne. Because you know what? The shit sounds crazy, but I don't give a fuck. Because you know why? It was females that you were talking about. You didn't say there was a big black nigger walking with big black monkey balls. You said Valerie Jarrett looks like a man with eight balls. Apes, not black man eight balls. You know, they're, Roseanne, I'm so sorry, Miha. You know, and this ain't even no, oh, I'm a protector because it's, no, man, this, that is just absurd. If, uh, okay, what ABC should have did and said, damn, you know what, we should take a poll and say, since we do so many polls that we say is real, we should do a poll and say, uh, you're colored people. Of the United States, does this bother you on this joke? And let one of these talking, um, talking animatron puppets, uh, say it for you. And then you listen to how they say it is like, dude, she was talking about Valerie Jarrett looking like a man and Susan Rice looking like a man, which they do. So that's supposed to be racist. Well, I'm a black guy, and Roseanne, if it was up to me, your show would still be on TV because that shit's not racist. With that, peace, love, subscribe. Rosie, I hope they don't kill you after this one. Blood sacrifice, peace. Or Dan, or anybody on the TV show. God love, Godspeed.